In honor of Super Bowl Sunday, we have a special practice to podium story tonight. Here's sports director Frank Cusimano. Frank. Well, Mike, we celebrate football, and perhaps no family has done it better and longer than the Wingos in St. Louis. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you the story. <laughs> we got them together on the field, which made them famous. You see, you couldn't write a book about football at St. Louis U High without the name Wingo. These three jerseys are over 7,000 yards and counting. Football, whatever you do, just be the best at it. Head coach Nick Saban. They've scored touchdowns against Alabama. And for another two years, touchdowns for the junior Billikens. How did this family do it? It's hard work. It's getting up 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, running heels push-ups, sit-ups, and just staying consistent and working hard. This is 31-year-old Ronnie Wingo. I'm the fastest. This is 27-year-old Raymond Wingo. So I might give it to a little brother. And this is 16-year-old Ryan Wingo. That's a whole lot. <laughs> you know the fastest. Number of offers you have right now? I have 18. Around 20. 25 plus, easy. What's your best 40 speed ever? Uh, 47. 428. 441. Ronnie Wingo was a six foot two, 230 pound locomotive. After St. Louis U High, he accumulated over 1,700 yards at Arkansas and had a three year NFL career. Raymond won the state championship in the 100 meters and was an all metro player at SLU. He played both ways at Mizzou for three years. And now there's Ryan. Push, I push that tire. Good. What's a hole in the floor? We'll buy another one. He's regarded as the number one wide receiver in America in the 2024 class. Good, Ryan. Hey, come on. And keep in mind, he was born 15 years oh, after good. Ronnie. Was the youngest a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good surprise. The last one, no more. <laughs> they all learned from each other. I watched my brother since I was four. Actually, I was his water boy for his JFL team, so I always saw all the games whenever he scored. And despite the age difference, Ryan and Ronnie? Since he's been four or five years old, coming right there with me working and doing the same workouts with me, getting so tired, he tell me he can't breathe. He used to keep pushing me, so I guess it, it worked out in the long run. It get, got me to where I'm at now. Watch this. And all three boys learned from their parents. Chicken and broccoli pasta. Mom Tiffany may be the toughest one in the family. That's when she's not cooking up a feast. But there's never any leftover. They eat a lot. It's kind of crazy. So she's the one that's on us about everything from school to just chores and just being on us hard. At the time, it was kind of like, you know, it's like, are you nagging? But when I got older, I appreciate it so much just for being on us. I couldn't do nothing without doing my chores and my schoolwork being done. Uh, so yeah, she kept me at top tier, for sure. I gotta get a hand in this hand, because I ain't had nothing. And Ronnie, the father. Who plays it? Who won a state championship while playing at Sumner. Man, you can't do that. I can't lead off a spade. Can be like a big brother when playing cards. Use those arms. But make no mistakes, he set the stage for their careers. Oh, good man. He's our rock. He keep us together. That's my best friend, my role model, being a father to all of us, taking care of home, getting up every day, working, making sure that, you know, setting the lights on, water running, and just, he's just a great man. Yes, it's all threaded through family love. Football fades, family doesn't. All of us are real close. The Wingos, quite a St. Louis football story. The Wingos also have a daughter, Renisha. She lives in Louisiana and is quite successful too, graduating with a degree in chemistry from the University of Dillard.